Hey guys, this is Dan French, your local loan officer here in Las Vegas. Wanted to give you guys a quick update on what mortgage rates are doing this week. Uh, you look at, it's right now it's June 21st, 2019. I also have some housing data news and uh, hopefully this benefits you. I put out a lot of content for this. I do a lot of research for this. You can also subscribe to my channel. You know, look me up, Loan to Keys by Dan French. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, get the content. If you're somebody out there looking to purchase or refinance a home or just to be educated in the market itself, uh, this is good information for you. So you look at what rates did this past week. Rates had a nice run. You know, they had the best run they had since 2011. And you see that it's maybe not over. You know, you still see that we had an uptick this week. And every time that that happens, you have a lot of people that really pay attention to the market now. You look at online information. Uh, there's mortgage calculators, there's news, there's data that's showing statistics and rates and how that works. And, you know, you have a hint of caution. I think a lot of people really are starting to gravitate towards maybe holding on to see what the market's doing just on a small uptick. Uh, overall, we're still seeing, you know, we're really low in rates. You know, you look at overall picture, uh, we're still low in rates. Now, you look at the 10-year Treasury yield, the 10-year Treasury yield's uh, hovering right around 2%. And statistically, in our past, what that means is that uh, when it's going around 2%, we see big swings in mortgage rates. And I don't see why that would change at this time. You know, you look so we've at, seen a drop uh, for the last six weeks with rates. And you know, you look at that, that, that we've had some lows and we've seen drops really since we haven't seen this since November of 2016. Now, yes, we've seen an uptick this week, but we do have some good news out there. We look at the housing market news and year over year, we see existing median home prices continuously going up and it's going up everywhere. Uh, it's not going up at the pace we saw maybe about two or three years ago where we've seen an increase, you know, 30% uh, roughly in the market. But a lot of that was driven by, you know, big investors, uh, you know, Blackstone and these investors that were coming in and buying the market. Now, when you talk about investors, we are seeing an uptick overall uh, across the U.S. in investors purchasing homes still. You see a, quite a bit of people still buying investment properties. For me personally, I don't see a lot of investment properties coming through at this time here in Vegas. Now, maybe it's just because the market is, is not good for investors here. Maybe it's in better places. You know, investors typically go where the best of return of, on investment is. So what I start to see is I'm seeing a lot of uh, conventional loans, uh, you know, obviously primary, second home purchases. Um, it's not saying that we don't have investors coming out and buying investment properties, but you look at the return on investment and it's just maybe not here in Las Vegas for right now. But as I see this news coming out, we do see a big increase in investors and investment properties being purchased across the US. So the big things that I, I work on are VA and conventional loans. And I'm gonna talk about FHA loans here in a second. FHA loans are going through a little bit of scrutiny right now, especially for lenders because it's a little bit more, it's governed more. Uh, there's obviously some penalties. You know uh, that involves with government loans. Now VA is the same, but um, it seems that FHA and lenders they've uh, they've been getting penalized maybe for some mistakes and things that's going on. Uh, there was some flood or flood insurance, some data that's come out stating that. Um, and so not only is it just that that they're a little bit more restrictive. I think it's a great program. It's it's by far the most lenient program that's out there. Is it the best? No. I would make an argument that VA loans are the best, but. The county limit really holds you back. And I think if somebody's wanting to buy a nice home these days, they're really looking at, you know, somewhere in the upwards of 350 or higher. Unfortunately, that's where we're at at this time. You know, it doesn't mean that there's not properties out there that you can buy, you know, other under 300,000. So talking about, you know, FHA loans and what I do with, with my financing, uh, typically I'm going with FHA loans when it's less or more, it needs more leniency on the file itself or on the client. Uh, it's a great program. You know, we talked about some of the issues that go with FHA. There's not, it's not big issues. It's just county limit is 322,000. Uh, you have restrictions on certain things with the property itself. And let's just be frank. I mean, a lot of people out there, they want to buy a bigger, newer, at least in a desirable location type home. You're probably looking at like 350 or higher. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't use FHA financing for that. You just have to buy down or put down a big enough down payment to get below the 322 mark. Now, a lot of my deals are three. Are so let's talk about how the week ended. You know, you look at the Fed's fund rate, that was unchanged. They could change in July. 
you know, you talk about the Fed's fund rate, that is a uh, more of a short-term instrument. And I think a lot of people get confused on why that's important. You know, I think it's, well, does it affect mortgage rates? It does, but it's more in the long term because you look at what that affects. That affects, uh, you know, installment loans or student loans, car loans, uh, more of a, not a long-term instrument like a mortgage. Now, why is that important? Well, if they raise the rates on that, then it's less money that maybe you have to spend on buying a house. And so that could potentially affect you uh, down the road, you know, especially with inflation. Next week, we got a lot of inflation data. We have a lot of housing news that's coming out. And it's important to stay tuned to these videos weekly because it really gives you guys an update on what's really happening out there in the mortgage world. You know, I, right now I'm telling everybody to float. Even though we went up a little bit in rates, it's still not enough for me to say refinances aren't back. Refinances are still here. I have seven right now that I'm dealing with that are refinances just in this last couple of weeks. They took advantage of the market and we're gonna probably see this swing happen again. And if you're out there and you're on the sidelines looking to refinance or purchase, no better time to do it. Like I said, subscribe to my channel. You can look me up on Loan to Keys at, on YouTube. You can also find me, The Market Snapshot, on Facebook. And uh, really tune into my channel. Look at this content. Uh, I have a series right now, Loan to Keys, about real life experiences that people go through, the outcome of what happens with the experience, and just the expressions and the results of becoming a homeowner. It is a big deal, guys. Stay tuned until next week. This is Dan French, and we'll talk to you then.